G'day and welcome back to Shavi Down Under. I'm Doug, it's Monday morning and ah, I'm always late. Okay, today, well, we'll keep going with the saga. Let me see if I can do this. Keep my face out. So I'm still going with the Aristocrat razor blade. So this will be its fifth shave. And today we're going to shave with a soap from the Parlor Co. There you have it there. Bit of a gothic sort of theme to the shop, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And we teeing it up with their um, aftershave tonic. And this is a um, tobacco and leather scent. And I did do the cream that they um, also make a few months ago now, which was rosemary and uh, vetiver. And so this time around, it's a bit different. It's a bit different inside too. I can't wait to show you. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you now. So it comes packaged inside the tin, so it's wrapped in paper. Smells good already. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. The soap's black. <laughs> it's like tar. It's soft though. I could actually squash this in my hand if I wanted to. Smells really nice. Okay, look at that. It looks a bit wider on my camera screen, but it's actually grey. Very interesting. So I've kept with the uh, the black theme. We've got the um, old reproduction Drake um, shaving brush, and it's a badger. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Uh, badger um, knot in it. You see it in my face there. You can really see the grey. I'm excited. Wouldn't it be cool if you could play music? The YouTube just pull, would pull it down. Remember that song from the 80s? British one, we fade to grey. It'd be a perfect song right now. So it's quite easy to get a lather up in the tin. And as you can all see, it's lathering up a treat on my face. I've got some sort of war paint on. Can't take away our freedom! Or however he did it. Old Mel. Old Mel's been to South Australia. Filmed the first Mad Max, maybe even the second one, but definitely the first one up around Cooper Pedy. That's a town for the strong of will. The old Cooper Petey. Well, I can say straight off the bat that um, quite good cushioning with the soap. Quite a good slickness.
I like to say um, thanks and hello to all my new subs that came in over the weekend and also to market friendship shaving for just giving people a heads up that I'm around about the place and I'm glad that um, Mark enjoyed the little sample of the uh, Zaharoff uh, soap that I sent to him. It's good soap, smells good. I'm glad he enjoyed it. Samples are a bit hard to get a bit of a lather up out of them just because of their size. Look, the old aristocrat blade seems to be just chewing through the whiskers. The first pass always the easiest, isn't it? Always the easiest. Well, there's the first pass. Okay, so I just added a little bit more water to it. Just so it doesn't dry out. On my skin. Just remember we're all rolling around 38 degree. 37, whatever it is. So soap dries out in your face fairly fast, I've discovered. So what do you think of the grey soap? I like it. It's different. But that's why I like it, because it's different. That'll go. Okily dokily. This guy. So I got up at stupid o'clock this morning to bid on an executive razor and cases. Oh, pardon me. It was the only. I think it was made the late 40s, early 50s. It's the only, I, I don't want to say only, but the, the rays look very similar to this. It was American made and uh, rhodium or rhodium, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, plating on it. It's one with a case with a mirror in it. Anyway, this one had the original. Uh, dispensers, blade dispensers wrapped in foil. I'm, I've seen it, been watching it for a week. I'm thinking, 
I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. And I've recently um, conversed with a fella on one of the um, vintage Gillette Facebook pages and he'd bought one and put um, photos up exactly the same and he had um, the, the foil wrapped dispensers in there as well and his mirror was actually perfect. It was beautiful score. And he PM'd me and told me how much he paid for it and then this, and within 24 hours, uh, the same thing popped up on eBay. I couldn't believe it. And the money he bought it for was reasonable. Expensive, but reasonable. So there I am at 10 to 5 in the morning, this morning. And I'm thinking, right, I'm going to go in big on this. I'm just going to make sure I win it. Even if I've got to pay a bit more, I'm going to make sure I win it. And I didn't. I'll be honest with you. I went in, I always snipe. That's the only way you do eBay. You gotta come in within the last five to four seconds. Never put up the maximum you wanna buy it for. Four days, five days before the end of the auction. You always go your maximum in the last five seconds. Anyway, I figured I'm probably going to be paying about 800, maybe 900 USD. So I thought I'm going to go in with a big one and then hopefully it's just well under. So with four seconds to go, I bang in 1,200 USD. For a half a second, I'm the winning bid at 1,000 USD. And then someone came over the top in the very last second and bought it for over 1200 USD. Amazing. And I'm sort of glad I missed out.
but I did really want it. Really, it was beautiful. So I went back to bed, a loser. But you know, it's one of those things you think, wow, that's 1200 USD, you know? And to win it, I might have had to have gone to 13 or more, you know? And And is it really worth that? As I said, I would have really loved to have had it. But there's got to be a cutoff point, right? Well, on to better news. You can see the shirts in the background. You beauty, Brighton had a win. We beat Leeds, who are sitting 12th at the moment. Or well, they were the other day when I checked after we won. We won 1-0. It was an ugly win, but we got there. Our goal was very good. Very good team play goal. It wasn't um, any brilliance from anyone. It was just quickly passed around in the box going forward and more pay was on the end of it. As a goal-hungry striker should be. You want your strikers hungry. So that was another game where I was up at stupid o'clock. But it was worth it. It's always worth it when your team wins. Leeds had their chances. But didn't convert. Just a little nick. Damn it. Got that right at the end. A couple here, there, nothing. Oh, well. Such is life. So I'll just a uh, quick basic rundown of some, some of the ingredients. So it's a tobacco leather scent. It's mild to mid in strength but it's there it's nice it's um but it's not overpowering at all probably uh, more to the milder side than uh, mid strength um it's got um coconut and argan oil in it and these are amongst other um ingredients shea butter honey extracts of bamboo can't say i've come across that yet uh, sunflower, aloe leaf, uh, 
Carrigan, which I had to look up. It's an extract from red and purple seaweed. So it's used as a thickener in foods as well. And uh, marsh mallow root. So they're the basics in it. We'll just shake, shake, shake. And we'll go to the tonic. And the tonic is matched to the soap. It's, um, it's obviously tobacco or leather. Now it's just an open top, which might have been nicer if they had something in there. But then again, it's got to be plastic, so it mightn't be so environmental if that's where they're coming from. And that's fair enough if they are. So I'll put in about a, a bean size of liquid. I would say the uh, tonic is It sounds more leather than tobacco. That's just me. Someone else, it could be different. It could be the other way around, but I don't think it is. Probably put a bit too much on. Yeah bit more leather than tobacco anyway I better wrap up <clears throat> um, I like the soap it's it's a novelty but it's a proper soap you know with with the black puck and the gray soap on lather on your face but I enjoyed it something different as I said the scent's some mild to medium and good slickness good cushioning yeah it's a it's a very good side so just let you see that again I'll put links in there they've got an Etsy shop and they've got their own online shop I noticed on there I'll put the online shop because it was about four dollars cheaper if you buy it directly from them and not through Etsy so I'll put that link in the description um, I hope you have a great week go you seagulls and um, I will see you on Friday. All right, have fun, take care, and ciao.